What's up everyone, Toy Bro here today, and we're going to take a look at a couple of figures from a new line from Moose Toys out of Australia. This is a new entry into their grocery gang series that has kind of taken on action figures as a new product line. So this is um, a couple of action figures from this new line. There's a handful of these things. I just grabbed a couple that appealed to me, so we're going to take a look at them. We have got Grub Sub and putrid pizza here. I mean, come on, obviously you gotta buy a sub sandwich and a pizza man. Might as well just end the review right there and tell you to go to the store and get them. So we've got a, just a blister card with our figure. We got some great 90s style artwork. Like this stuff really screams uh, Ninja Turtles to me, really, in terms of how they look. But then again, of course, it also screams 80s food fighters. So if you know what that is, you're probably already interested in these. So let's pull these guys out and uh, take a closer look at them. So here is Putrid Pizza and Grub Sub out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I, I think these things are really great. I They are goofy. They are relatively disgusting looking. So I'm all about that. They're pretty cool toys. They're indicative of like a real 90s style. But then again, you know, they look like food fighters from the 80s too. And... You know, you can't go wrong there because that toy line was just the best. They were awesome. So the whole point of this line, and I'm not, I'm not 100% familiar with it. I know that I've, I know that it existed, and I know that I was aware of it, and that was about it. But the grocery gang started last year, 2016, and it came out of Moose Toys' uh, canceled trash pack line. Moose Toys also makes Shopkins, so if you're ever in any toy store, you know what Shopkins are. They're everywhere. So that's kind of the girl's side. This is the boy side, and they make the. Uh, little mini figures, and they're kind of squishy little things, which I honestly wasn't aware of. I thought they were hard plastic, but they are, um, they're, they're a blind bag, I think, or, you know, you get, there's like mystery figures, so I know at least uh, Grub Sub, when he was in the mini form, he was rare, and they have different colorways and different variants, so essentially what the figures are, they are the mini figures just made into figures, so they're the little, little squishy guys, which are actually pretty cool on their own. I mean, there's a lot of detail in there. Look at that gooey, nasty sub sandwich. And uh, I don't know what's going on with Putrid Pizza here. He doesn't look like he's having a good day, though. So we're going to move these little guys aside for now, and we're going to take a look at the figures. So we've got a Grub Sub here, and these are pretty basic figures, but they're pretty cool. They're just, I mean, they're cheap. They're like six bucks, I think, which was fine. I'm happy to grab a couple. They'll, they'll look good and stand out on my uh, kind of generic toys toy shelf that have kind of a lot of every different thing on them. So we've got obviously a sub sandwich for a head. He does not look very happy. He's got some, maybe some roast beef on there, some lettuce. He's got a, a condiment dispenser for his accessory slash weapon, maybe. I don't know if it's supposed to be a weapon or not. And then his body looks like it's made out of uh, bread almost with berries. He's got like a tomato slice down here. And, you know, he's got, uh, I don't know, just a lot of different little bits and bobs of colors on him. So I think it's really cool. There's a little bit of sculpted detail. Again, indicative of Ninja Turtles to me where there's a lot of uh, molded plastic with sculpted detail that doesn't have paint on it, as you can see right here and on the back of the head there. So not that they're Ninja Turtle figures or anything, but that's that, that's what I pick up on when I see these. Like I think of, you know, characters like Mutagen Man or something like that that have a lot of stuff like that or, uh, you know, just a lot of stuff like that where they have all kinds of weird sculpted details on them that just look kind of gross. I don't know why gross stuff is appealing in this regard, but hey, it's kind of cool. It's fun. There's no no way kids aren't, aren't enjoying this. So this is the guy that really caught my attention, Putrid Pizza. He has a uh, pizza server with like a meatball on it by the looks of it. It's just a silver piece of plastic, but he he's basically like a molten cheese man if you look at him. And then he's got a pizza slice for the head, and he's got the ooey, gooey cheese kind of ripping and tearing, with, which is his mouth. He's got those white eyes, the, pe the pepperoni, and they're all kind of covered in slime too, which is which is pretty cool. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. They have ball jointed heads, which is pretty nice. So you get a little uh, rocker motion, and then they can swivel to kind of help balance them a little bit. And then they have. Uh, you know, full rotation on the arms and the, and the legs as well. They don't, you, you're not going to be able to get them into too many dynamic poses, but at the same time, I'm not sure you really need to. You know, overall, these are these are pretty cool little toys. I don't, you know, six bucks, seven bucks, whatever they cost is uh, is pretty minimal in the grand scheme of things, and they're, they're, they're different is really what caught my eye. So the fact that they're very different, these are nothing like anything else that's on toy shelves right now, and so that definitely is a plus for this, for this line. Um, 
It's obviously successful to the point where they've decided to move on from the little mini figures to action figures. And there's about eight or nine of these things too. So there's the uh, there's the the grocery gang, and then there's like the the cleaning crew or whatever they're called. I'm not really sure, uh, but they're the the clean side versus the the gross side. So I, I think they're really cool. I'm only really interested in the food ones. There's a there's a donut guy and a French fry man that I want. Um, there's also a trash can guy too. I might have to pick him up. So we will see. You might see more of these on the channel. But uh, that's gonna do it for this little quick look at the grocery gang figures, putrid pizza, grub sub. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these, uh, if you've ever heard of them or if you've uh, seen these in store. So uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.